Welcome to the Concise NetHack video about identifying scrolls in NetHack. The Concise NetHack videos show you what you need to know about specific NetHack areas without wasting your time. In this video, I'll show you my strategy for identifying scrolls. I'm sure there are additional good ideas about identifying scrolls, but this is what I do. Uh, some background information for identifying scrolls. When you start a NetHack game, all the scroll types, except for those in your starting inventory, have a random appearance label like hack em much or Fooby Bletch or Thanks Mod spelled backwards, etc. Once you've identified a scroll type, its label is changed to the actual type. For example, in one game a scroll of identify may be labeled Fooby Bletch, but in the next game it might be labeled hack em much until you actually read one to identify it and then it uh, will be called a scroll of identify. Blank scrolls are the exception. They always appear as unlabeled scrolls. You can write on blank scrolls with a magic marker. If you think you know what an unidentified scroll may be, you can use the hashtag name command. In Windows, that's Alt-N. And you can also use the backslash key to show item, temp, uh, item types you've already identified or named. There's a lot of information about identifying scrolls on nethackwiki.org. Uh, you can price identify scrolls. That means you drop a scroll in a bookstore or a general store and note how much the shopkeeper offers you. I typically don't bother with price identifying, except uh, I note that the cheapest scrolls are always scrolls of identify. So cheap scrolls are easy to, or identify scrolls are easy to price identify. And price identification gives you hints about which scroll is which, but you still have to make some guesses. And if you play a game long enough, you're going to find many of each scroll type. So I typically just identify scrolls by reading them. It's called use identification. All right, so my strategy for identifying scrolls is pretty simple, but it's a little more dangerous than some people are comfortable with. Until I find an altar, I don't read any unidentified scrolls because scrolls you find might be cursed, and cursed scrolls are bad. Uh, some scrolls will still be identified just through normal gameplay, such as when a monster reads them. They might be identifiable. I store my scrolls in a stash until I can identify the blessed, uncursed, or cursed status, the buck status. If I have a bag, I immediately stash all scrolls, potions, and spell books I find to protect them on the way back to the stash. That's like on the turn after I pick them up. I stick them in, a, in my bag. Then... After I find an altar, I uh, then I can go on with uh, reading my scrolls to identify them. First, I drop all my scrolls on the altar to identify their buck status. Then I stash the cursed and blessed ones. I don't typically read cursed unidentified scrolls. Well, I don't ever, uh, because a cursed scroll can decrease your armor or weapon enchantment. It can teleport you to a lower level. It can reverse genocide instead of genocide etc., depending on the scroll type. And reading a blessed scroll at the wrong time can be a waste of a good scroll. For example, reading a, a blessed scroll of enchant armor before you have a, an ascension kit armor type can be a waste of good scroll. Then I, uh, if I have not identified both destroy armor and a scroll, a scroll of polymorph, I remove all my good armor and wear junk wear one junk armor item. If I haven't identified a scroll of fire, I stash all my burnable items like potions, spell books, and other scrolls. If I haven't identified scroll of earth, then I move away from my altar and stash because I don't want to drop bolters in my way. Um, all right, then I uh, actually read the scroll and pay attention to the displayed message. Many scrolls auto-identify when you read them. Others give you a message that can help you identify the scroll. And if you don't recognize the message, the message go to nethackwiki.org and search for it. Um, uh, as I mentioned, scrolls can be lost to burning, but they're not too heavy, heavy, so it's okay to carry a bunch of them in a bag. I don't like to keep them in my, my main inventory, with one exception. I'll often carry two scrolls of teleportation in my main inventory, so I can teleport if I get into trouble. I carry two scrolls because a random teleport can drop you close to the monsters you're trying to get away from. 
With two scrolls, your risk of landing in danger is lower. Once I find a charged wand of teleportation, I typically don't carry teleport scrolls in my main inventory anymore. So there are some downsides to reading scrolls to identify them. Reading bad scrolls can punish you, like they can give you amnesia, they can burn you, they can destroy your armor, armor etc. You can usually recover from these effects if you're careful. And note that if the game considers you to be a beginner, instead of identifying some potions and scrolls, you get the message, you have a strange feeling for a moment. You are no longer considered a, big, a beginner somewhere around experience level six or seven. So I wait to identify my scrolls until then. In my opinion, the worst scroll for use testing or use identifying is the scroll of amnesia because it causes you to forget some maps and some items you've identified, at least it can, but more importantly, it can cause you to lose your skill enhancements. So suddenly the weapon you were hitting and damaging monsters with will hit less often and do less damage until you train it up again. I typically save and bless my good scrolls like enchant weapon and enchant armor. I bless them by dipping them into holy water. Um, cursed scrolls of destroy armor are great. You read them while they're while you're confused to foo-proof an item, like corrode-proof or rust-proof an item. I only do this on with my Ascension armor. Uh, note that it, uh, Cursed Scrolls of Destroy, while confused, don't remove damage, so you have to foo-proof the armor item before it gets damaged. If you've already damaged it, then you want to read a Confused Enchant armor to both foo-proof and remove the damage. Curse scrolls of genocide are great because they can be used to rever reverse genocide, and I have a concise net hack video about reverse genociding. All right, let's so show you what I got here. I'm actually invisible in this game, uh, but you can see that my location is here. I have my stash in a chest here. I've got an altar here with boulders, so I can place items under the boulder, so uh, monsters will use those items or will not get to the items as often. I'm going to loot because I've stored all of the scrolls that I've found in this chest. So I'm going to take out some scrolls, and you can see I have some unidentified scrolls, uh, Fnord, Godi, whatever, and uh, several others here. So I'm going to take out uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, uh, G, and the unlabeled scrolls are blank, and then you can see these others that I have uh, already identified. So I'll pull out all of those and um, drop them all on the altar. Drop my scrolls. Drop them all. All right, now, one at a time. Uh, first, I'm gonna type a backslash key, and you can see that I have already identified remove curse, scare monster, destroy armor, create monster teleportation. But I'm gonna pretend that I haven't uh, identified uh, destroy armor yet. If I look at my armor, um, I have a junk item here, blessed um, mummy wrapping. I'm going to take off all my armor and put on that junk armor. So take off my robe, take off armor, take off my hat, take off my shoes, and wear my junk item. It so happens that wearing a mummy uh, wrap will allow you to be seen if you're invisible. All right, let's pick up a scroll here. I'm going to get one of my... Uh, I'm going to pick up 1A, so one of my Fnord scrolls, 1A, and I'm going to go away so it, uh, so if it's earth, I don't drop it on my stash and things. Um, and I'm going to check for, I have some spell books. Let's drop the spell books. Drop spell books. I'm going to, yes, um, I'm looking for potions, spell books, and scrolls. The only scroll I have is my Fnord. All right, so the spell book is safe now. I'm going to read N. This just happens to be an identify scroll. All right, let's see what I want to identify. Um, I have not identified my oak wand. Let's type M. That's a wand to make invisible. Great. Well, so now, if I type backslash, you can see that I have identified the scroll of identify. Uh, let's pick up another scroll here. A goatee or fish or whatever. Um, read U. Scroll, oh, here we go. This was a scroll of earth. The ceiling rumbles above you, and I'm hit by a boulder. If I had read that on my altar, first of all, I might have burned the scrolls that were here if it were a scroll of fire, but I would have dropped scrolls all around in place. I didn't want them. So 
Uh, great, now I've identified Earth. Let's pick up another one, A. Uh, read X. Your hands begin to glow red more. It wants me to name this. I've played enough that I know that if my hands are glowing red, then the next monster I hit will become confused. So this is a scroll of Confused Monster. Great, let's get another one. Note that I'm still moving a long ways away, but from my altar, but I don't need to move that far. Only a few spaces in case it's uh, a scroll of fire. Let's read V. That's magic mapping. So now if I hit the backslash key, you can see that I've identified this confused monster. It's called confused monster because I named it myself. Magic mapping was identified by the game, so if it's not called that, it is that. Let's get another, we got a few more here. Let's get A. Read H. Look, that was a scroll of light. Pick up A. Read Z. So scroll, read, as you read the scroll, it disappears. So gold detection. These are great. I never ascend without four scrolls of gold detection. And you can uh, watch my concise net hack videos on the elemental planes to figure out why. Great. I've used that one up. It would have been nice if I could have identified it without using it, but I'll find more. All right, let's get A. Or I'll use a magic marker to write one. Write, read K. Uh, my mummy wrapping glows silver for a moment. So that's the only armor I had. And now it's a plus, plus one mummy wrapping instead of uh, plus zero. So my armor class dropped from 10 to 9, and monsters will hit me less often. All right, let's pick up A. Read Y. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, that's why you don't read them with things in your inventory that might burn. My mummy wrapping is basically a junk item, but now it's a burnt mummy wrapping. Uh, there we go. Um, I think that's all I want to cover for now. I hope you've enjoyed this concise NetHack video about identifying scrolls. I invite you to watch the other concise NetHack videos to learn lots of tips and tricks about playing NetHack. Thank you for watching.